Hey guys, so before I start the vlog this week, uh, I just wanted to do this a little bit just to say that I was actually originally planning on not doing one this week because I, there was an unfortunate thing that happened this week that just kept left me kind of down and sad the last couple days. For those of you that don't know, uh, a couple days ago, my beloved cat Sydney got really, really, really sick and uh, he was not really eating or drinking. He was laying around a lot. He could hardly walk, like he was shaking a lot. So Thursday, I took him to the vet, had some blood work done on him, and yeah, his turns out his kidneys and liver were kind of failing, and they were looking at some other signs that looked like either he had a really bad infection or it could have been a tumor, which with his history, um, when it comes to his uh, eyeball, like it kind of made a lot of sense that we had to have that taken out a couple of months ago. So um, me and my sister and my mom did kind of agree and sort of the doctor that it would have been best just to let him go peacefully, and so I did have them put him down. Uh, but, you know, with how amazing and badass Sydney was as a cat, I doubt he would want me as his owner to stop doing what I was doing on his behalf, you know, because uh, that's just how amazing of a pet he was. And so, and there was some other stuff this week that did happen that was a lot of fun, so I should have, should put that stuff out there. But uh, before we get into that, all I just want to say is, Sydney, you were... The most bitchin' cat that has ever and probably will ever have existed. And uh, I could say for myself and all of my friends and even Roxy that you will be greatly missed. And you are my friend and my buddy and I love you. Oh, and for those of you just wondering, yes, this was not my first take to do this uh, because every other attempt I ended up bubbling and crying like a buffoon. So... <laughs> But anyways, let's get into this week, and one last time, Sydney, you will be missed. So some of the things that happened this week that were a lot of fun was, of course, back on Sunday, I got to go out and have breakfast with uh, Grace and Jennifer, because Grace was in town, and it was... Of course, always great to see those two. We went over to Wex and had some breakfast, and then we went over to Ginja and had a drink, and uh, just caught, caught up with some stuff. And so um, I was kind of talking to her about the possibility of me even going out to Tucson to go see her one of these days now that she's come to see me. I always feel like I have to return the favor, so that might be a trip that I plan on uh, coming up here, you know, now that I have a lot more free time with my new job. So uh, that was probably a good way to start the week. Um, later in the week, uh, me and my guild on World of Warcraft, we ended up uh, finally getting back into raiding after taking like a month and a half hiatus. And uh, we came back in and on the very first night we went in and did the last boss of the last raid that we hadn't been able to kill yet. And we finally did it, so we got this achievement called the Head of the Curve, which of course to you non-gamers probably doesn't mean anything, but to me it means a lot. Basically just means that we were able to kill uh, a very difficult version of the boss before the next patch comes out. So it's like, well, we're still in this state of strength, we were able to kill it instead of coming back later when we have more power in the next patch to kill it. So it's just always nice to have that achievement because once the next patch comes out, you can't get that achievement anymore. So when people look at it, they can be like, oh, these guys actually completed this beforehand. That's kind of cool. We did it! Yay! And any coffee you can get those. And I know it's nothing compared to you mythic raiders that do all the hardest version of the thing, but for my guild that's very casual, the fact that we do get through heroic at least is, you know, I always see that as an accomplishment. Then lastly, you know, uh, even though RTX tickets haven't gone on sale yet, they come go on sale next week, the dates are announced for RTX, so I went on and I actually bought my hotel at the Fairmont Hotel again. Uh, so I pre-purchased all of that stuff. Um, the funniest thing is I was doing that while we were raiding, so I was trying to juggle both doing the boss and buying the tickets at the same time, or the, the room at the same time. And since it's during the 4th of July this year, I did actually end up paying a little bit extra to have a room facing towards the lake, so that if I'm in my room, I can actually watch the fireworks shows from up there, instead of go having to go down and be all stuck with everybody. I can literally just bring drinks up to my room and just sit back and watch all the fireworks and enjoy myself, if I feel like not being social, which I don't know if that would, will be the case, but we'll see. It's still six months away from now, so 
So one last thing that we got, of course, this week is, as you guys know, me and my dad have been working on a lot of new contracts for Windfire Productions, and uh, we were in talks with the NCAA to do the track and field championships, like those nationals that they're going to be having here in March. But this, those same people also happened to be asking us about um, if we knew anybody that would be willing to do a boxing match, like a full production boxing match, down in Rio Doso. And so that's actually coming up here in like the next three weeks. It's on February 1st. And so we're going to take the whole production truck and about 10 people and on Saturday go down and set up everything and do this broadcast uh, boxing. So it's going to be the very first on the road event that Windfire Productions has done. And so I think that's going to be a great start just to get us to where we need to go. But uh, yeah, so that's, and we're still working on the other contracts that I've talked to some of these people about. But uh, for the most part, um, that's about it. And it's going to be lots of fun as we continue forward with the Windfire Production contracts and with my job and all that kind of stuff. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what the rest of this year has to provide. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'll see you to all you guys next week.